will get to it. Yes, okay, I just want to ask you something very quickly. Do you feel that Donald Trump was responsible for January 6th? Do you see him as an insurrectionist? Insurrectionist, and should all these people that are still in jail be there? Okay, so as a leading Republican on the Civil Rights Committee, I told everybody, I don't care what you've been arrested for, if you have lacked due process, whether it's January 6th or another, call our office and we will assist you. There are members of Congress who are Democrats. If you are arrested for January 6th, they will turn you away and they will not help you. Okay, and so it's really important that we understand that uh, that part of it, number one. Number two, I've been working on civil rights issues for a long, long time, both as a state lawmaker and as a member of Congress. So I don't care who you are or what's happened, call our office and we'll help you. To date, we've not had anybody in the district have their due process rights for the January 6th event uh, that happened. And I don't expect you all, all of you, to agree with me on my comments. Okay, but I was there that day. And I at least want you to understand my perspective as a single mom. I was stuck in a tunnel at one point because we were evacuated from our office. And I was with Dan Crenshaw, sitting next to a Navy SEAL, and there were two other members of Congress, about probably 50 to 100 of staff. We were evacuated from our offices. And Dan Crenshaw turns to me and he says, this is really unsafe, this is dangerous. And then I read a police report 10 days later saying that some people that were up there knew that there were members of Congress in the tunnel downstairs and they were trying to find a way to get to us. And it was my daughter and my son who were calling me that day, Mommy, am I ever gonna see you again? Are you alive? Are you okay? They're teenagers, they're on social media, they saw the videos, they saw the violence, and I have yeah, and I have kids that I have to come back home to. I now carry a gun, a six hour P365 nine millimeter everywhere I go because I get threats from the far left all over the place. And so I don't expect you don't have to agree with me, but at least understand my perspective. Answer the question. She has 30 minutes. It's her time to use it any way she wants. Thank you. Next question. Now listen, you are Republican ladies. And I want you all, out of respect, out of respect, we're going to take the next question. These people are in line. So I'm, I'm gonna give you like 10 more seconds for what I just said, but please be quiet and listen. After this is over, you can walk up to her in person and talk to her. Okay, here's the next question. You just didn't answer. Yeah. 